you think he'll just open up? I think he'll be fine. You've got me worried now. I didn't ever think, even really think about it. I just thought, oh, yeah, well, we'll interview him and it'll be great. Nice to see you, mate. You know, I've been a fan since, you know, the very start, I feel. I know he's a big boy band fan, but I'm like, really? Are you? And he truly is. I'm intrigued to know what he wants still, because he's done it all amazingly well. And why does he want to keep going album, press, tour, album, press? You know what I mean? What is it that he still wants? Maybe this is the first time he's actually really, really loved it. Have you ever done this before? Never. Never done an interview before? I never. You're popping my cherry. But cool. I'm very pleased to be doing it with you. I should, I should do it for you one day. Yeah, but there'll be less to talk about. <laughs> I guess up until a few weeks ago, you wouldn't have been in a venue of this size for quite a long time, but you've been doing these gigs. I did four gigs that I did on my first solo tour, and it's been absolutely amazing. It's, it, it, it's such a shame, because it's... it's they're great, they're great to do. It's very, very different, obviously, the intimacy of the gigs in small places like these. Um, but the, the energy that you're expending as well is the same mm. as a stadium, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? So I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to do more of it, but hopefully I'll be still filling stadiums and, you know, I'll be, I'll be back out in them next year. I've been listening since 6am this morning. I really enjoyed him being back in Take That, but I love him as a solo artist as well. So either way, as long as he's performing, I'm happy. <laughs> okay. Well, I was always a big Queen fan in the 70s, 80s, etc. And I think Robbie as a solo performer is probably up there with Freddie. Jagger. Welcome to Leeds. Thank you very much. That is Robbie all over. Coming back to something like this, where he started. Gutted. Gutted. He's in my hometown. I've lived here all my life. And I can't get in. Yeah, good. How are you, man? I'm in the fact I can't get in. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, I'm in demand. See you in a bit. He looks pretty buff these days. He's been to the gym. And he's yeah. buffed up a lot, a lot. And we like his hair. Very we like his toes. And we like his muscles. Do you like his muscles? Love his muscles. Go on. <laughs> this is the last one night, this. <laughs> Warming up for Leeds. Glasgow tomorrow. Not so much. They said, they said when I was doing amateur operatics in Stoke-on-Trent when I was 12, 13, that you should never break the fourth wall. And I got a for going out and seeing my friends. Check this out. Hey, Bab, how have you been? Are you here to see? Oh, hey, it's a good show. See? They just love you for it. The gigs that you're playing now, do you get nervous before you're going on, before these gigs? No, not at all. Because there's always been a certain amount of nerves that I think you need to do your job. Yeah. Everybody enjoy themselves, let your lights shine. Nerves are good. Nerves no, are good. You're only nervous when you want to do your best. Absolutely and uh, it puts you on your metal and you're, you're off. Oh, it was amazing. I've seen Robbie loads of times and this was the best one yet. And he looked mighty fine. He's on form. He is on form. Yeah. He 
he's the governor! Well, that was fun. So that's an hour and 17 minutes worth of music, maybe 12 minutes worth of talking. First gig back since 2006. So let's talk about your new album. On a scale of one to 10, how proud are you? If you'd have asked me a month ago, I was immersed in the album going, glorious, this record is glorious. Now I'm like, I've had too much time to think. And um, I'm sort of steadying myself and getting myself ready for, no, we don't like it. <laughs> but if who doesn't like it? You, you have to assess whether you think it's great, regardless of anyone else. I don't think you? that I've made the most commercial, the most viable, the most stadium-esque album I've ever made. Right. I think that it's bright, I think it's punchy, I think it's young. I think uh, there is hope in this record. There's never been a lot of hope in my record. It's always about being upset or, or being emotional about something. You know, I know who I am, I know what I want, and I'm going to go and get it. Um, I, I just want to win the game. You know, whatever well, that game you're is. You're never going to win it. No, I know. you're only in a battle with it with yourself, Absol in your own head. Abs absolutely. Like, you've won it. You've absolutely, like, like, the sooner that you just realise that you've absolutely done it. <laughs> I've, I've, you know, it's like Man United. They don't win the Champions League and go, hey, might as well take Old Trafford down now. Yeah, but, We've Man won United, it. but Man United isn't one person. I see my career very much in football terms, very, very much. I am well, now... then it's a game of nine halves. Well, well, <laughs> well listen, I'm, I'm now Ryan Giggs. I'm Paul Scholes, you know. It's like I might have my last season at the top, you know, with this album. You know, I may have already dropped into the championship and I don't know. Rod Stewart's not in the championship, is he? Tom no. Jones isn't in the championship. Tom Jones is an absolute icon. And 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 keeps playing to his fans so Gavin and, and Stacey, his people. Gavin and Stacey comes out. Half of your audience tune in to watch it. You're going to be happy. No, you, you've, but then... you've already won. You've already made an imprint deep into the the consciousness of of this of our generation. But I've got a lot less money than you. I've got a mortgage to pay. I've got an emotional mortgage <laughs> that, that I need to pay. <laughs> but you'll, but you, you'll never pay it off, though. But, you know, Paul McCartney, Alton John, all of these people that you're talking about, when they release an album, even now, into their 70s or the late 60s or wherever they are, they're not going, do you know what? I've won. It doesn't matter when this comes out. Those people are still ultra competitive. Madonna wins the bloody Masterpiece Award and yeah. Alton John is furious. <laughs> yeah, is no. absolutely furious right. that his song didn't win. Yeah, no, They're you're still competitive. Right. Yeah. You know, it's, if, you, if you lose that competitive edge, what's the then point? Then what is it? Yeah. I think I'm just a bit more honest about it than most people are.
Perfect package. Spend the night with Magic Mike on Blu-ray and DVD Monday. Gaga, Lady Gaga, fame. Your color, your way. Color Riche by L'Oreal Paris. From delicate nudes to statement shades. From luxurious moisture comes lip pampering richness in 46 indulgent shades. Surrender to your Color Riche by L'Oreal Paris. This is Take the Crown, the number one album from Robbie Williams. The smash hit Candy and the new single Different. Robbie Williams, Take the Crown, out now. With over 55 minutes of new live stand-up, it's world record-breaking comedy. It's Peter Kay as you've never seen him before, live and back on nights. Own it now. Commence Operation Self-Service. Mabel, they're so crispy. They taste even better than yours. What? Sorry, Margaret. Sorry, Mabel. Added roastiness from Aunt Bessie's, the nation's favourite roast potatoes. Duck, Mabel, duck! I am ducking, Margaret. And now, 
Aunt Bessie's special roast potatoes basted in duck fat. What a great way to start the year, guys. We've got a race on our hands. Blinding start from Fernando Alonso. Seven out of seven in 2012. There is a fire in the Williams garage. Hamilton sees the chequered flag. It's been an amazing season, and only Sky Sports have been there for every lap. And it all comes down to the final race. The Brazilian Grand Prix, Sunday, 2.30, Sky Sports F1 HD. This is going to be a real deal. I'm going to have a professional fight. I'm under no illusions. This is going to be the toughest thing I've ever done. This is the heart business. Follow Freddie on his journey to become a professional boxer. Sugar Ray Leonard. In our brand new three-part series, Flintar from Lords to the Ring. Starts Thursday at 9, Sky on HD. Well, my name's Jack Dawkins. Ben Hunter Mamawa hints him at friends as the artful budger. Can't sit here, sir. I can't silly yourself. What are the family? Oh, we talking to you. So strong. It's clear. We're going to get the <laughs> it's good, sweet. it's good. It's sweet, very sweet. Very it's difficult, good, very difficult to watch myself on the TV. Why don't you enjoy watching yourself, do you think? Like, will you watch this, for example, I, or will you find it a bit weird? I probably won't watch this. Yeah. And I've never watched Nebworth. I've watched... Really? Yeah, I've watched, like, no. the first three numbers of Nebworth when I was trying to impress American girl that have never heard of me in right. the States. Yeah? No, check, look, I check, mean it, I am. Check this out. Yeah. yeah what, do you, what, what do you think of that? Yeah. Um, that, that actually is the moment where I kind of got the, the bug mm -hmm. big time. Yeah. Because... Something happened every night when I walked on stage with this confident walk. Yeah. The audience went, and I could feel it. Yeah. And then at the end of the show, I got a stand innovation by myself. Mm. And I was like 13, and you know, my, my chest swelled, and so did my head. And um, it was at that moment that I went, I, I'm good at something. I'm good at something. Yeah. You know, and that felt amazing. You know, if I was good at maths, that might have been pointed out and I might have become a mathematician. As it happens, I was good at showing off. Yeah. Most people never really know quite what it is that they're really, really good and at. And what they were capable of. Yeah. What was the very, very first thing? Mine was the jukebox, Summer Nights, John Travolta. It was the time when Grease was out and Summer Nights was on the jukebox mm -hmm. and people used to put the money in the jukebox and get a three-year-old, a two-year-old me to, to mime and pretend to be John Travolta. Oh, mine was my sister's christening, and we were on the stay, or the platform of the Salvation Army, and I couldn't see, so the vicar got a chair and said, here, James, stand on this. And then looking at the congregation, which was probably only 25 people, 30 people, but it looked like a 1,000. Mm -hmm. And that was it. I just started sort of doing things and bending over and looking through my legs. But I tell you what I remember more than being on the stage is I remember coming off the platform, sitting back down between my mum and dad and being instantly bored and going, oh, well, this is boring. Sitting here is boring and that's exciting. Yeah. And you don't forget those feelings of going, wow, this feels amazing. It People feels are... amazing. Also, though, you know, it's like 10,000 hours stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, people yeah. say it takes 10,000 hours to become really good at, you know, Tiger Woods-esque or at least professional, semi-professional, yeah. whatever. I think I put 10,000 hours of showing off in, definitely. So that clip that we just saw then, you were 13. Yeah. So it was three years after that that you joined Take That, right? Yeah. I think I was 15 when my mum sent my CV off. CV? CV. <laughs> mm -hmm. What was on the CV? Loads of Artful lies. Dodger. Artful Dodger, but like yeah. loads of made up stuff as right. well. So you go along, you audition for a boy band. What did you sing? Uh, we were told that we had to sing Nothing Can Divide Us by Jason Donovan. Right. And, um, and then we had to do a bit of a dance to MC Hammer. And I could do The Running Man quite successfully. Uh -huh. We went and had the interview, Nigel Martin-Smith, this guy was putting a band together and he owned a model agency in Manchester. 
and I went up to do the preliminary meeting and um, went up to Manchester, which is a big do when you're from Stoke. We did the meet, chat, 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 and as I was leaving, I looked over my shoulder and went like that to him and walked out, and that's what got me the gig. Just that wink. That you were cheeky. That I was cheeky. That, that, that wink got me in. Uh -huh. So if it wasn't for the wink, I wouldn't be here. Thanks a lot, man. See you later. Thank you for your help. Bye now. Bye-bye. Take care, buddy. Love it. Love it. Come on, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Take care, folks. You don't want to jump. She won't be in anyway. She also does. She'll be in Selfridges, yeah. Hi, Gwen. It's Rob. It's my wife there, please. My my arms my arms are in that much pain. I can't hold the, the phone up to my ear. Yeah. <laughs> I took part in the celebrity press up competition last night. <laughs> Ollie Muir's had done forty one unsuccessful press ups. I think Usher <laughs> had joined in, and the JLS boys had joined in. Murdered Ollie and Usher and quite a few of JLS, but there's no way you're going to be Aston in a press up competition. I stopped because I was bored. This is my new single, Candy. Any more ballads? <laughs> Not angels yet. That means it's time to go home and that thing. Candy, which you wrote with Gary Barlow, how did that come about? Um, it's a uh, a track by a DJ called Todd Terj, and uh, me and Gaz took it off to my attic in Los Angeles and cut it up. Spent some time on it, and uh, out of it came candy. It's as poppy as you've been for a long time, oh, it's as, isn't it? It's as poppy as it gets. It uh, seems like there's a good chemistry there now. You've written a few songs There's together. genuinely a great chemistry with me and Gaz. And um, there's been me and Gaz in my attic with a laptop and some speakers, giggling like children from the moment we enter till the time we leave. Get you know, giving each other high fives and pound, and oh, that's great. Yeah, 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 say that, say that, brilliant. And I get respect from one of the best songwriters in the world, you know, and that's all I ever wanted the first time around. But I didn't give him too much to go on the first time around. I, I love being with him, I love writing with him, and I love the respect that I've got from him. It, it means a great deal to me. I was there to witness Candice is in a business She wants the boys to notice Her rainbows and her ponies She was educated But could not count to ten And she got lots of different horses but Lots of different men And I say Liberate your sons and daughters The bush is high But in the hole there's water You can get some when they're giving nothing sacred but it's a living hey ho here she go either a little too high or a little too low got no self-esteem and vertigo she thinks she's made a candy hey ho here she go either a little too loud or a little too close got a hurricane in the back of her throat she thinks she's made a candy yeah, yeah. Whoever gets the closest, she comes and she goes as the war of the roses. Her mother was a victim, father beat the system by moving bricks to Brixton in 
learning how to fix them. Liberate your sons and daughters. The bush is high, but in the hole there's water. As you will, she'll be the whole of the law. And if it don't feel good, what are you doing it for? Hey, ho, here she go, either a little too high or a little too low. Low self-esteem and vertigo, cause she thinks she's made a candy. Hey, ho, here she go, either a little too loud or a little too close. Got a hurricane to the back of her throat, she thinks she's made a candy. Yeah, yeah. As you will, she'll be the whole of the law And if it don't feel good, what are you doing it for? 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 Go either a little too high or a little too low, but no self esteem and vertigo. She thinks she's made of candy. Hey ho, here she go, either a little too loud or a little too close. Got a hurricane at the back of her throat. She thinks she's made of candy. Hey ho, here she go, either a little too high or a little too low, but no self esteem and vertigo. She thinks she's made of candy. Here she go, either a little too loud or a little too close Got a hurricane at the back of her throat She thinks she's made a candy I got this phone because I'm a proper grown-up now. I can read the broadsheets, have all my literature at the touch of a button, do important research, stay in touch with all the other grown-ups. But then I found it had Xbox games in it. In it! Oh, yes! Oh, grow up. That's me, and this is my Windows phone. New Windows phone. Reinvented around you. Wherever and whenever you take a Lindor moment, it just seems to make life feel so much more sublime. Smooth, melting Lindor. From the Lindt Master Chocolatier. You choose the moment, we'll provide the bliss. It's a triumph. Unmissable. Stunning. Surpasses all expectations. Five stars. Great expectations. In cinemas November 30th. At Iceland, our party food is such great value. New chicken tikka samosas, delicious new lasagna bites, and the classic king prawn ring. And there's so much to choose from. Two pounds each or three for five pounds. Pure value from Iceland. This Saturday's lotto is a massive rollover of six million pounds. Give in to your colour crush. Casting Creme Gloss by L'Oreal Paris. Colours I can't resist. Super soft. Super glossy. No ammonia. Delicious chocolate. Super glossy red. Sunkiss Blonde. 37 ammonia-free shades of Casting Creme Gloss. Girls, we're worth it. At Curry's PC World Now, discover Windows 8 and these new HP laptops, packed with vision technology from AMD. Making the most of the stunning Windows 8 layout, they're just right for keeping you and your world connected. With a 6 gig memory, 750 gig hard drive, three great colors, and 20 pounds off at only 329 at Curry's PC World. This is the story of the oats in Quaker Oats. In many ways, a super great. Super for being high in fiber. The energy it gives to keep us going. The way it helps lower cholesterol. And super for how it makes us feel super. 
Quaker Oats. Energy, fiber, helps lower cholesterol. And why not try one of the delicious flavors from Quaker, like new strawberry, raspberry, and cranberry, to superstart your morning. Hey, Tiffany. This is Pat. You look nice. Thank you. I'm not flirting with you. I didn't think you were. Just practicing. Critics are raving. Silver Linings Playbook is the best movie I've seen this year. I ordered raisin bread because I didn't want there to be any mistaking it for a date. It can still be a date if you order raisin bread. Is this the girl you wrote about? You wrote about me? She is my friend with an F. Capital F. For friend. Silver Linings. Create your own website with one and one. Whether you're a hairdresser, an accountant, or a photographer, Choose from over 120 business sectors. Select your company name, color, and design. Industry-specific text and images included. Changes anytime. Personalize your content, design, logo, or images online. One and One, my website. Oneandone.co.uk Experience the magic of the Sky Movies Christmas Channel and indulge in a different movie collection every day throughout December. Enjoy all the Harry Potters. Bring him to me. All the Bonds. Come with me. Comic book heroes, Christmas films, Disney movies, and many more. It's so beautiful, I feel like I belong here. Bring the family together with Sky Movies Christmas, also available on demand. Make Christmas magical with Sky Movies. Robbie Williams is back. Tomorrow at nine on Sky One HD and an hour later on Sky One Plus One. I played here, you know. I do know. Were you there? When I was asked to do this, I said, why don't we do it at the Watford Coliseum? Because it's the first time I saw you on ever as a solo artist. Were you on the right hand side or on the left hand side? There were people to about here, and then I was stood about here. I can kind of remember because there'd never been any male faces really at the well, time. It was just gig. me and my friend Jimmy Wilson. But I can remember there would be there was there was two guys at Watford Coliseum. Are you serious? I'm absolutely serious. Guys started to come and see me. And it was weird because I remember being, you know, and take that, looking at the girl, singing yeah, yeah, yeah. to the girl, and then all of a sudden being on my solo tour and a few guys had turned up and I just didn't know what to do. We were like, this is brilliant. And I remember leaving with Jimmy, my friend, and him saying it must be really weird for him to know that he'll never play. to big crowds <laughs> like he did in Take That. Yeah. It was so good. Were you aware of how good you were on that talk? I was, I was aware that I was getting a response. It, and was, it was a favorable. phenomenal response. Yeah. Like, I can remember people leaving going, I didn't know what to expect coming in, but I didn't expect that. Yeah. Well, it was new to me, you know. I'd only been Robbie Williams for four gigs. I knew I had to be on my metal and I knew that I had to create a character. And I was learning on the job and I learned very quickly. I found it to be very uh, unnaturally natural. You know, it was kind of rock and roll panto and people responded in kind. Why is it rock and roll panto when you do it and you don't consider it to be rock and roll panto when Mick Jagger does it? I do think it's rock and you roll You do? Panto. Yeah. OK. And I watched him the other night on the tally. It was some 1978 gig. And he just doesn't stop doing something. Then he's got his towel and he's yeah, doing yeah. this thing with the towel. And then yeah. he moves about and everything is, is sort of doesn't stop moving. And I thought, I know what you're doing. Yeah. I know what you're doing. It isn't just rock and roll greatness that's pouring out of you. You've got you're, to work at it. You've got to work at it and you're performing. Yeah. And it's a performance. All I know is I get up there and I'm on my toes. And hopefully by the end of the show, everybody cheers and goes, hey! And normally they do. <laughs> I get up there and, and fanny about to the best of my ability. <laughs> well, it's a lovely fanny. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think I must have been a lot smaller last time I was here. Yeah. So I remember it being a lot bigger. Now it's just... To know it's 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 small. <laughs> it's really small. You know, this is where I'm from. This is still the decor of late seventies, early eighties. So I kind of it's kind of like Stoke. And I haven't been there for a long time. You know, it's it's nice. Feels like home. I pretty much figure if I do five or ten minutes of cardio and stuff here, I'll be, I won't... Hit, stage hit let me entertain you going, oh, my God, on the Achilles. <laughs> Gone. Yeah. Gone after get off. Do you always read your YouTube comments about your videos? At the start of record, yeah. Just spent two years with it, wondering, praying, that it's going to be received favourably. Yeah, I'm interested. Do you get bothered by those comments? I've just hit it on a good page of, you know, Elix Hart and uh, what a great tune, tune of this chorus is so catchy and da 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 da. Hmm? I'll go on with that. Like last night before I went on, there was like a couple that I went, oh yeah, dad dancing. So dad dancing remained a heavy feature of the show last night. While I was on there, I was kind of doing my stuff and I was like, Oh, Lord. I hope I don't look like George Michael at the closing ceremony. I really enjoyed tonight. Things are really sweet right now. I'm in a sweet spot in my life. The crowd were amazing. They were really loud. And there was a lot of love coming up from them. So much you know, mesmerised eyes looking back at me and me taking all that in. Yeah, really sweet, very sweet. I busted a gut, li literally, over the last three months. I've worked out harder than I've ever worked out. I'm sort of fighting fit. I knew I was coming back and I'm up for the fight. You know, I I'm taking this to them. I'm not standing on the back foot waiting to hit me. I'm, I'm coming at them. I've just got myself into a positive mental attitude and come on then, let's have it. <laughs> it's great, right? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Are you aware of how much that changed people, some people's opinions of you? It's certainly my mates. I can remember going, thank you. Yes, right, right, right. I know. Right, right. I've been saying he's good for a long time. Yeah, um, stuff did change that week. Angels was out. And then that performance came and everything just seemed to go through the roof. Within moments, it was just megastar. Just the year after that, you won three Brits, two Ivan Novellos, and then in, th in the September had your first number one with, I think, Millennium. Yeah, the three How did that feel? Three Brits blew my mind. Yeah. I felt very, I felt undeserving. But I think that's just the experience of winning any awards. That's, yeah. that's exactly how I, I feel. I, there's no awards up in my house. There's no plaque. Actually, there is one plaque that I've just left on the floor that says how many albums I've sold, because yeah. I, I, that tickles me. Occasionally good to look yeah, at. Yeah, because it's like... <laughs> but it was very much like the Brits, the Angels coming out, it was very much... There's no looking back. You can't stop mm -hmm. this now. Yeah, that's it. I, to be fair, like, you've done really well, because I thought you would struggle after take that. I did almost... <laughs> I really did think. I thought anybody who can't play, who can't, uh, who can't write, who can't play guitar, I thought, really struggle. Gary Barlow. Probably kept the band but together. Apart from that, Kim no, Martin. Hold on. I'm <laughs> telling you now, Robbie, you have done apart, brilliantly. Apart just, from that, hey, you've got a lot of talent. Martin, the, the diplomacy course went fairly mm. well, did it? <laughs> um, I wanted to use that clip because I think whatever you achieve, there will always be people whose response to you is not, oh my God, that's amazing, is, well, I've got to be honest, I didn't think you would. <laughs> 
It doesn't matter what Martin O'Neill thought. What matters is, at that point, you were the biggest star in the world. Like, Angels was selling more records than the, than the rest of the top ten combined. I, I carry around with me a little Martin O'Neill in my head at, at all times, and it is the fuel that uh, keeps the fire burning, um, sometimes maddeningly so. Um, sometimes those sort of voices of, I, 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 A, I don't think you write the songs, B, I don't think you can sing, and C, you crap on stage. Um, right now, I'm in control of those, that voice and that dissension. In the past, you know, when I haven't felt too great, I haven't been, you know, I've been overwhelmed with, with that voice, sort of, you know, stayed in doors for a long time because of that voice or because of perception of what I think people think. But you still do that now. Yeah, but now I do it out of choice. Because if you did just go out, if you went out just for 10 minutes, it would be an endless procession of car horns I, and people saying, all right, Rob, I it think is, you're great. It is, that's yeah. the truth. Because I can remember the first time I came to your house in Los Angeles. It was the most glorious day, as it always is, and your girlfriend who's now your wife, was outside sunbathing, and you had the curtains drawn and you were watching Deal or No Deal on, like, a, <laughs> on like a cinema screen. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> we were just kind of talking about whether you'd take the money or not. Right. Or would you play on? Right, right. And I remember thinking, God, is that what... We moved to LA to keep the curtains shut. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've been out, I've spent a lot of time out, and when I go out to work, I spend a lot of time out yeah. doing stuff. Uh, and when I'm not working, I like to be in. Even sat here now, I'm annoyed that we're not in tracksuit bottoms. Absolutely. We've got grown-up... Well, I, at least I have. I've got grown-up grown trousers. trousers on that I don't want on. No. I want elasticated comfiness. Always. And I want to be in this position... Yeah. ..going... Uh, yeah, that'll do. When I met Jules, the first thing I said was, do you want to stay in on Friday night? because we were both sort of sick of going out all the time. Mm -hmm. And we've continued to stay in. I'm the happiest they can ever be when, you know, the wife's there and I'm holding her hand and we're glorying in rubbish reality television, you know. And then we watch the um, Eurovision Song Contest and love it. You know, you had a Eurovision party this year. Yeah, so we'll have a Eurovision party. And, yeah, and every so now and then you'll have a quiz night. Yeah. Uh, there's always something going on. I'm not like I'm not like Howard Hughes. I'm not drinking yeah. my own urine and not taking calls and not seeing people. Yeah. I see an awful lot of people before I drink my own urine. Yeah. Fragrance for Men, Giorgio Armani. Come with me and you'll be In a world of pure imagination Take a look and you'll see Into your imagination We'll begin with a spin Traveling in the world of my creation, what we'll see will defy explanation. If you want to view paradise, simply look around and view it. Anything you want to do it, want to change the world. There's nothing to it. Toy shopping. Tricky, isn't it? Don't worry, I'll make it a little easier. Pick a toy, any toy. <laughs> Everyone loves a panda. What about a little airy bear? So, what do you reckon? Oh, here we go. It's me! Whoa. I have heads! I have razors! Oops. He's run out of batteries! If you want real action, I'm your toy! Oh. Do your thing, big man. I'm a car, robot, car. Tiny. I burst myself. Flipping dogs. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Hop on that plastic. On your bike, Dolly. It's very sun. What do you reckon? Ah! He loves this. It's recommended.
mended for ages eight and over. <laughs> Choosing the right gift is never easy. OK, I've made up my mind. Paying with Barclay card is. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I've got my own room, right? A new way to pay from Barclay card. Get ready to get your hands on the perfect package. Spend the night with Magic Mike on Blu-ray and DVD Monday. To be on top of your game, you need to be on top of your training. And on top of what you eat. Delicious low-fat turkey breast serve, all the salad, extra tomatoes and honey mustard sauce. I can beat that. Chicken teriyaki, a nine ground wheat bread, all the salad, and extra peppers. Unbelievable. A dead heat. Two tasty low-fat subs. Let's start this another way. Chicken. I'm turkey, you're chicken. Subway, where winners eat. Coming up tonight at 10 and all in HD, there's no time to rest for James Corden. He's hosting a brand new league of their own here on Sky One. Take a look at the weekend's Premier League matches with fantasy football over on Sky Sports One. Whilst over on Sky Arts One, get to know the life and music of Michael Hutchins from In Excess. And three friends conspire to murder their horrible bosses on Sky Movies Comedy. in Dublin. So we'll be going over there to shake a few hands, take a few pictures, and we're going to perform to a load of mad Irish people. And I'm guessing it's probably going to be the gig of this small tour. Thank you. Yeah. I did my personal best once here. I did, I think it was 23 pints of Guinness. That's, that's pretty good, isn't it? Wow. I got up really early, though. I'll be watching Thank everything you. when you come to Ireland. So Your breasts are right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's the play. I was just <laughs> being interviewed over here, and then I, I'm sorry, but they're remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favourite bit of Great. Ireland so far, yeah. Hang out these yeah. days, just like that. Yeah. The birds, the birds will be kissing by the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, nothing, just, what? Well, over there, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Not really bothered. Not really bothered about our look, really. Our look or how it goes down with the birds. It's all right, it's all right, don't care. Don't care. <laughs> See, I've got my old deluded sense of confidence that I once had has seemed to have returned. It's an hour and 45, and then I'll get into the car, travel back to London, curl up with the missus, and get ready to be a daddy. This time next week, I'll be a DILF. Um, I hope, anyway. I'm about to be a daddy at any moment now. There's a phone in this pocket, and the only person that's got the number is my missus. And if this phone goes off, that means it's going down. And if this pocket does start to vibrate, should I stay? Or should I go? It's always tease, tease, tease. You're happy when I'm on my knees. One day it's plain and next is black So if you want me, I feel bad Come on and let me know Dublin, should I stay or should I go? How much more respect do you have for your missus when they're given birth? It's crazy. Uh, yeah. Or just the fact that they've grown eyelashes in their in, body. Yeah. Jules said that to me one day. I've grown eyelashes today. <laughs> in my stomach. Yeah. Don't Beat you that. dare talk about what you've been up to. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's <laughs> another thing as well. I'm yeah. tired. Oh, are you? Oh, are you? Yeah. You sit before me a changed man. You are now responsible for another human being yeah. on the earth. Yeah, cheers, man. How does that feel? Uh, it happened yesterday. Uh, little Theodora Rose came into the world. Teddy, yeah. as she will now be called. And um, the most amazing thing ever when she just popped out and there she was, really unexplainable. It's, it's, something, it's a feeling you can't really describe, isn't it? I remember seeing you just a few weeks before Ida gave birth and I remember saying to you, you will, you will not believe how much you're about to love someone. But it's, it's amazing, the instant change. Yeah. Instant, it's like, oh, oh, dad now. Oof. Yeah. Bumph, I'm in. What, what do we do next? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, um, uh, and uh, she's still at the hospital with her mom, and I'll go back and see them later on. Amazing. And it's very, very cool. There will always be someone better than you, even if you're the best. So let's stop the competition now Or we will both be losers I'm ashamed I ever tried to be higher than the rest But brother, I am not alone We've all tried to be on top of the world somehow Cause we have all been losers trying to be a winner so I want to make it clear now I want to make it know that I don't care about any of that stuff no more don't care about being a winner or being smooth with women or going out Don't let it get to your head Cause you won't be on top of the world so long In constant competition This ain't about no one in particular Who I could list a few I'm removing myself from the queue don't care about being a winner Or being smooth with women Or going out on Fridays Being the life of parties Don't care about being harder Or being daddy's favorite Or if you think I'm a millet Or if I am a loser Don't care about being a winner I've got a game of true or false for you. Would you like to play? Yes. OK. Here we go. You don't have a mobile phone. True. Why? I've never liked the phone. 
I have a phone phobia. I also, I'd seen a documentary about Morrissey, and Morrissey got back to everybody via fax machine. And I thought, I understand that. Angels is about a girl you went to school with called Anne Jell. <laughs> False. <laughs> <laughs> you would have become an actor if you hadn't seen the ad for the Take That auditions. True. Yeah? Would you still do any acting now? No. Why? Um, present company excluded. You have to hang out with actors. You married an actor? Yeah, she's not a very successful one, though. <laughs> she's pretty successful. <laughs> yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. You keep a log of every time you hear your name mentioned on the TV. True. <laughs> you consider yourself the 1,367 in the last two years. You consider yourself the greatest Monopoly player Stoke has ever seen? Uh, no, no, I'm not a great Monopoly player. OK, I was going to say, cos I'll take you on. Right. You're no longer allowed to visit Kylie Minogue because you spilt wine on her carpet. I think I did spill wine on her carpet once, but that's not why I can't visit her. <laughs> <laughs> You're gay. Nah. <laughs> because for quite a long time, there were a lot of people who used to say, no, he's gay. If you go to Google and put my name in, the first search that comes up is Robbie Williams gay. gay. And um, I think that's because an awful lot of people wished I was. And um, straight people wished I was and gay people wished I was at some point. Yeah. And I think that's just stayed a main staple. Plus, I'm very, very camp. You have performed... How gay are you? I think I'm, like, 63% gay, if not more. I'm probably not 75% gay. I love dancing, I love singing, I love show tunes, I love taking that. Crying, crying at emotional movies. I love movies. shopping. I'm gay until it comes to a man's penis, and then I'm out. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> love you too, baby. I'd done drugs and I was listening to indie music by then. Are you serious? Yes. That early on? Oh, yes. It's weird getting up night after night and singing about stuff that really, really hurts. When Take That Get Back Together, how did you feel? They've done what? I was gobsmacked, yeah. And their chat continues tonight at 11. And let Robbie entertain you again tomorrow at 9. He'll be performing live from the O2 and we've got you the best seats in the house.